Welcome to Jade Learning. My name is Jeff Simpson and today we are talking about the underground electrical wiring installation and passing our inspection on the first time, hopefully. We need to think about things like minimum cover distance, burial depth of our raceway, protection of our conductors and cables from physical damage, the type of backfill that we're using. All these things are important. Look at the question on the screen. What is our minimum burial depth for a rigid metal conduit? And if we were going to try to find it in the code book, where are we going to go? First thing I like to do is I like to go to the index. I look for keywords like these here, buried, rigid metal conduit, the things that I have in red and underlined there. And when you go to the index, you can find direct burial and then rigid metal conduit and a reference to table 300.5. When we go to that table, look at what this table is for. This is for our minimum cover requirements. This is not burial depth. There is a difference between cover requirements and burial depth. Okay, This right here is cover over the top of that pipe. When we dig a ditch or a trench or whatever else and put our pipe in it, this is our cover from the top of the pipe to finished grade. You might need to bury your pipe deeper than you would normally think in order to get your minimum cover requirements over the top of the pipe. And that's what this table applies to. Guess what else? This includes conductors, cables, raceways, things that are zero to a thousand volts. Okay, zero to a thousand volts. What does that tell you? Spare raceways that have nothing in them. Low voltage guys, this applies to you most of the time. Look at column two, rigid metal conduit or intermediate metal conduit. Does it say anywhere in column two, rigid metal conduit or intermediate metal conduit with wires in it? No, it does not. Most of the dimensions in that column are going to say six inches. There's one in there that says four inches. Okay, that's whenever you're outside underneath of four inches of concrete and your concrete extends at least six inches on each side of your metal raceway. But in most circumstances, it's going to be six inches. Direct buried conductors and cables emerging from grade shall be protected by enclosures or raceways extending from the minimum cover distance below grade to a point at least how high above finished grade. In red are the keywords that you would use if you were going to quick search this in the index. Conductors and cables emerging from grade. Okay, so we obviously have underground wiring. Protected. All right, we go to the index, we look up underground wiring and protection of, and we find section 300.5D. This is what we're talking about. Have a look at that image. On the right hand side of the screen at the bottom, you see we have a UF cable that's coming up in to a raceway that's there for the protection of that cable. Okay, so what's that height distance above finished grade? When we go to 300.5D1, it tells us that direct buried conductors or cables emerging from grade need that protection by enclosures or raceways extending from the minimum cover distance below grade okay which is here up to at least eight feet above finished grade now look at the very last sentence in no case shall the protection be required to exceed 18 inches below grade Okay, so what that means is this. If your cable is required to be buried 24 inches deep, according to the table, that raceway only has to extend 18 inches deep. Now, unfortunately, this is what we see a great majority of the time. Okay, there's a couple different problems here. Number one, look at that cable, that UF cable coming up into the bottom of that raceway. In most cases, Table 300.5 will tell you that that direct buried cable needs to be at least 18 to 24 inches deep. There are certain provisions that would allow it to go as shallow as 12 inches, okay? But most of the time, 18 to 24 inches. And then look at our raceway. That's supposed to extend down to our minimum cover distance, but it never has to be any deeper than 18 inches. Both of these right now aren't any deeper than 6 or 7 inches. And then the backfill material, that's a little bit questionable. Look at those sharp rocks, okay? They're not big sharp rocks, but they are sharp rocks. Wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and put down some sand shading over the top of that cable or maybe some clean backfill before you start dropping rocks in. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good day and be safe when you're digging underground. Thank you.